Hi, my name is Chandar Goyal. I am microcontroller system application engineer at Texas Instruments India. First of all, thanks for your uh, interest in uh, Texas Instruments Innovation uh, Challenge, uh, India Design Contest 2015. If you are planning to use a microcontroller in your application, then this video will be helpful to you. So when you open the TI microcontroller uh, website, uh, the first page will give you uh, the brief overview of different families available. Now the TI MCUs are divided into two broad categories, low power MCUs and performance MCUs. In the low power MCUs, we have three different subcategories, the ultra low power MCUs, the low power plus performance MCUs and the security plus communication MCUs. For applications where the MCU spends most of its time in the standby mode, uh, the ultra low power family is the best. These applications can be energy harvesting, portable uh, consumer applications, medical instrumentation and sensors. For applications where you need ultra low power consumption as well as uh, high computational power uh, the applications like a sensor hub, electrical meters, or a blood glucose meter, uh, the low power plus performance MCUs are the best. For applications which need security as well as uh, communication along with the ultra low power, uh, these applications can be vehicle access, building access, or metal patches. Uh, you can use the third category in the ultra low power MCUs. Let's move on to the second broad category, which is the performance MCUs. In the performance MCUs, we also have uh, three subcategories. The first one is real-time control MC. The applications where you need low latency, closed loop control, uh, the applications can be like uh, digital power, uh, LED lighting, or motor control. You can use uh, the real-time control MCUs. For applications where you need real-time control as well as industrial communication uh, capabilities like uh, automation and process control, human machine interface, you can use the second category which is control plus automation MCUs. Finally, uh, the safety MCUs. Now the applications where you need to guarantee functional safety, uh, these applications can be avionics, uh, automation and transportation you can use the final category of the MCUs, which is the safety MCUs. If you move to the top uh, left-hand corner of the website, you will see the different subfamilies available in the MCU portfolio. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick up a couple of uh, the, and I'll explain them in detail. Now, let's uh, first move on uh, to the Ephraim family. The Ephraim family is among the ultra low power MCU families. Um, you can see uh, the current consumption figures of this family. Uh, in the active mode, you can get up to 100 microamps per megahertz performance. So if your application is running at 16 megahertz, uh, you will only consume 1.6 milliamps. Not even in the active mode, but also in the standby mode or in the real-time clock mode, the controller consumes only 450 nanoamps current. Now with the battery, uh, let's say a CR2032 battery, uh, you can get a lifetime of something like 20 to 25 years. Now if you click on the block diagram of uh, this family, you can see uh, apart from uh, the core, the different peripherals that are available. Uh, the main key thing in the Ephraim family is the presence of Ephraim instead of flash. Ephraim, as you know, is a non-volatile memory. But the greatest advantage of Ephraim is that it gives you the read and write speeds equivalent to RAM. Along with the general purpose uh, peripherals, uh, this Ephraim family is powered by the MSP430 16-bit RISC core, which can go up to 16 megahertz. Uh, the power or the voltage needed for uh, driving these MCUs can range from 1.8 volts to 3.6 volts. Now let's move to one of uh, the performance MCUs, uh, the Piccolo MCUs. The Piccolo family is among the MCUs which are uh, developed for real-time uh, control applications. The Piccolo family is powered by a 32-bit CPU which can go up to 90 megahertz. Along with uh, the 32-bit CPU, it is also having two co-processors. One is the float floating point unit and the other is the VCU. 
VCU is specifically designed for uh, communication applications like power line communication. Uh, the VCU can help to accelerate complex mathematical operations like FFT, IFFT, and FITRB operations. The other main uh, uh, coprocessor inside is the control law accelerator. This is very useful in real time control applications. Uh, this control law accelerator can accelerate uh, the 32 bit floating point operations up to 5 times. Let's move on to one of uh, the safety MCUs, uh, the Hercules RM MCU. Now, these MCUs, as I said previously, are designed for uh, safety critical applications. Uh, so, each peripheral and the core itself is designed in such a way that it guarantees functional safety. Now, if you see the core here, it has two cores but tied up together with a lock strap. These two cores don't execute separate instructions, but they execute the same instructions with a time delay. Now, there is a built-in mechanism where if the output of one of the cores differs from the other, then you will automatically get an exception. Apart from this, uh, there are uh, different peripherals also that are uh, specifically designed for safety. For example, you can see uh, the memory, uh, which is the flash as well as RAM are equipped with ECC. So if there is any corruption, it can automatically uh, correct the corruption. Now this was the brief introduction of all the families. Now if you want the greater technical details of all these families, what you can do is, you can uh, select one of these families and go to the technical documents tab. When you go to the technical documents tab, you can download a lot of technical information like data sheets uh, and user guides and application notes. The data sheets primarily provide all the electrical characteristics of the devices along with the pinout. The user guides are the main guides where you can get information of all the different peripherals available, uh, the different register settings in the peripheral and the core instruction set. As I said in the beginning, selecting the right MCU part is also very important. So if you go to the products tab, you will see a very nice tool where you can select the right MCU based upon your application requirements. For example, you can select the flash size, the RAM size, whether you want EDCs or how many communication peripherals you want. You just click in at different options and you will get a list of MCUs which have uh, all that options available. You can choose the least cost device among all these uh, MCUs. So that's it for the product families. Now let's see what all the tools available for you. Uh, let's first move on to the hardware tools. Uh, you can just click on the tools and software tab and you will see the different options of tools available for you. So the first hardware tool that I'm going to talk about is the Texas Instruments Launchpad. Launchpad is our signature tool uh, which is available for all the device families like MSP430, C2000, Connected as well as Hercules. Let's concentrate on the MSP430 uh, launchpads for the time being. Now the MSP430 launchpads, uh, uh, there are three different variants in that. This is how a uh, most basic MSP430 launchpad looks like. This launchpad has two parts. Uh, the first part or the upper part is for emulation uh, or debugging uh, and the second part is the development boot. You can use the emulation part separately and you can use it to debug any of the MSP430 microcontrollers. The second part is uh, basically having a device socket and all the pins of the device are coming to a header. We have something called booster packs which can be plugged into the headers of the launchpad and can help you to explore variety of applications. Now let's move on to booster packs available from Texas Instruments. Uh, this website or this page gives you an option uh, to choose different TI as well as third party uh, booster packs. For MSP430, another uh, option is the EZ430 development platforms. Uh, the EZ430 development tools come in the form of a USB stick. Uh, the third option is the experimenters boards. The experimenters board are useful tools for full system evaluation and prototyping. Along with the MCU, these experimenters board come with the different hardware features like an LCD, a microphone, 
cap touch panel and a joystick. The fourth option is the programmer and the target port. Uh, you can put your uh, microcontroller on the target port and you will have the access to all the pins of the microcontroller over a header. Now you can connect your ex uh, external hardware components uh, to the header and you can complete your entire project with this. Okay, let's move to uh, the second category of uh, MCUs, which is performance MCUs. Uh, in performance MCUs, we have uh, a different set of tools for uh, C2000 family, um, which are like control sticks. The control sticks are very similar to EZ430 uh, tools, which is basically a development tool on a USB stick. The second category is the control cards. The control cards are dim socket daughter ports uh, with a common plug-in compatible interface which can be used or which can be plugged in into different application boards to evaluate different performance MCUs for the same application. You can see here we have different application kits for different applications where these control cards can be plugged in. These application kits are available for applications like motor drives, solar applications and digital power supplies. That's all for the hardware tools. Um, for any greater details on all uh, these hardware tools, uh, to look at the schematics, uh, to look at the Gerbers also, you can always click on the tab of tools and software on the MCU website. Now let's move to the software tools. For all the microcontroller families that we have talked about so far, uh, we can use a single IDE, which is the Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio. The Code Composer Studio can be downloaded from the website www.ti.com slash ccs. You can use it both in Windows as well as Linux. The free version of CCS is available in two variants. The first one is the Code Size Limited version where you can get uh, MSP430 16KB and other performance MCUs 32KB uh, free code size. There is another option which is time limited. You can get a unlimited code size but time limited uh, version for 30 days. Apart from the integrated development environment CCS, we also have uh, some of the free plugins available for this like MSP430 wear, we have a control suit and we also have a Tiva wear. So all of these acts as libraries uh, for uh, these different families. You can download example codes. You can download code for uh, different application kits that we have talked about. That's all that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope this will be useful for you in selecting the right MCU for your application and the respective tools both in hardware and software. For greater details or for uh, more information, I would request you to log in to E2E, uh, the Texas Instruments E2E forum. Thank you.